when I was playing viola in the orchestra in Roma. The great experience that I had was with Bruno Walter, you know. The first time that I played under Bruno Walter, I was the 12th viola, the last viola in the group. And I remember, I will never forget the first Brahms. On the end of the first Brahms, I had the impression that I had played a concerto, a symphony for viola, for 12 viola solo and orchestra, you know? <laughs> because this was the feeling that he gave to every musician to be absolute, to give something from himself, you know? So that my feeling is to make music with musicians. I had the conception of the conductor is like a like dictator or something like this. I, I can do it. I am a musician and I have the greatest respect for the musician of the orchestra. And I go there to make music with other musicians. Yes, of course, somebody has to conduct, in this case, this is me. And um, I know exactly what I want. I know how the musician has to play. But I always think that I want to get the music through the convention, not through the, the command, you know? Because I think if you are convinced from something, you do with a spirit. You are commanded to do, you do with another spirit. And I need love, love for the music. The great works with which I think people associate you, like the uh, Verdi Requiem, the Beethoven Mrs. Lemnis, they all have a great spiritual quality. Do you think that music ought to have a moral force behind it? Oh, absolute, absolute. Uh, not only the music, I think the art in general has a moral. I think really this, uh, this great spiritual words, this message that the, all the great artists, to the music, to the painting, to the literature, gave to the, the uh, human being. This is a, f one of the first necessity for the humanity. Now, the science gave unbelievable improvement to humanity, but the man, the human being, has two hands, two limbs, and one heart, like 10 million years ago, then the man needs love. And you, you get this from the machines? You can get the, the, the love from the machine. No, you get this from a human feeling of the life. And the art, and in our case, the music, give to everybody one great thing, hope. We need hope. We, if, if, if we don't have hope, what we can do? Don't you think that we are lucky if we work in music which has a terrific element of mystery about it? So many people have no mystery in their lives whatsoever. You're right. It's very, it's very right and very beautiful what you say. And uh, you know, the music out of the artistic value has these two great Oh, that one is the mystery that you say, and another thing is that the music leaves the fantasy free. Then the music uh, speaks to everybody different, to you in a way, to another person in a way, and to yourself also in different way if you feel in a good mood or in a not so good mood. The same music, the same performance, can sound to you, to speak to you in a different way, depending how, how, was you, how you are ready to upset. The, uh, then uh, uh, for us, the problem to understand more deeply and, um, and to express this, because our duty is to give this music to the sound, to the public, to the listener. And if we don't get this, it's our fault. Then uh, in the moment in which this music arrives to the audience, the audience is not something passive, it's active. Then this emotion comes to us. Then it's give and receive. This is what we have to try. Then, in the moment before to go out, 
in a, in a, for a concert. Every time, it's always, for me, always like the first concert. It's the fear, really the fear. But then, when you go out, the fear to pick up is the music. Then you have been 100% in the music. And in this moment, you don't think anymore that you are serving. You think only that you love. It's an action of love. Then, in this moment, the music belongs to you. After that one second, when the last note is finished, you are again down, and you start again to think, what can I do to do better next time? Are you ever satisfied with your performances? Um, I know that in every performance I do the best that I could do, but I know also that the next time I have to do it better. Is there any music that you haven't conducted in your life so far that you still want to conduct? Yes, of course. But, um, you know, I conduct only when I feel that, uh, on, not only that, that I, uh, I know a piece or I understand the piece, but when this piece belongs, is a part of my life, of my human life. Then, uh, if I don't conduct uh, uh, some pieces, my fault, because they are genius and I'm nothing. But, uh, but if I am not completely in love with the piece, which means the piece becomes in my blood, I don't do it. But then, if I may say so, you are lucky to have lived so long. I mean, think of poor Cantelli, so many pieces that uh, he didn't get a chance to conduct. Yes, you're right. My wife was a string quartet leader, and she always said, no, I must leave late Beethoven until I'm more mature. And she didn't live to play them. So, yes. Uh, this don't wait the... too long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank what you. sort of things do, do you still want to conduct that you haven't conducted? Uh, I don't say this. I don't, uh, I don't want to say, because it's a moment in which some pieces push on the door. Yes. And then you have to open the door. Mm. But. Uh, do you ever feel that you want to conduct the, those uh, orchestral arrangements of, of the late Beethoven quartets, for example? Or uh, Verdi? Uh, this, is the, this is the question. About Beethoven, I... that. About Verdi, um, I was a string player myself, and I uh, played all my life uh, chamber music, a quartet. And I was playing the orchestra for many, many years. And I played... I don't know how many times the Verdi quartet. And uh, this is a more temptation that I have to try once to do the Verdi with the, with the orchestra. Beethoven, this is a. Uh, I doubt a little bit. Because, you know, for Beethoven, uh, the quartet, as you know, I don't, uh, don't tell you was uh, one of the great um, expressions that he had, you know. The, for Verdi, this, the, the quartet has been an exercise. Well, uh, he, you know, uh, between uh, Aida and Otello, he worked for 10 years, between Otello first of 11 years, to into the... the then the quartet was for him just to see if... Uh, an exercise. And he's only one. He's the only one. And in, in any case, the conception of Verdi has been always a, an orchestral conception. In, in Beethoven, the quartet is really co quartet conception, chamber music. Then, um, uh, with Beethoven, I should be very careful, and uh, I, I don't think I should do it. But perhaps the temptation of doing the ones with Verdi could be, could happen. I don't know. We will see.